Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to this installment of Mike's Vehicle Vlogs and I want to thank you so much for joining me today because today we are going to do a small update on the 2001 Pontiac Aztec GT that I, um, that I had. A lot of you long-term subscribers know all about this Aztec. This Aztec was a big part of my YouTube channel for the last two and a half years. Uh, it was my baby and uh, you know I bought it and pretty much in a lot of ways rebuilt the thing from the ground up. Uh, it was completely undrivable and uh, by the time I was done with it, it was fully functioning and it was overall, it was overall a pretty good car to just drive around, you know. Um, I loved the car. It was the second Aztec that I had and um, I really didn't want to give it up, um, but there were a couple of factors that kind of played into my decision to sell it. Um, one of them being uh, I kind of wanted to start, you know, work on another car. I pretty much did everything that I wanted to do to the Aztec, um, and it was, you know, in a way time for another car, but in order for me to get another car, I would have had to have gotten rid of that one. Also, uh, I knew of somebody who needed a vehicle immediately because their vehicle uh, gave up the ghost and she just needed something to drive for like the next year or so like that and the Aztec was in enough uh, you know enough of a good state for it to be driven as a daily driver you know for you know a temporary amount of time until she actually got something that was going to be more reliable for the long run um, so I sold it I sold the Aztec uh, it was a very hard decision for me to do and today I'm going to give you guys an update on how the Aztec is doing and I just want to let you guys know that unfortunately it is not an update that I am happy to kind of give out to you guys. Um, to be quite honest, I wasn't going to do any kind of update on the Aztec. Um, uh, just because I didn't want to bother her about it, obviously it's not my car anymore. And I just didn't want to be, you know, um, hassling her, you know, for me to come see it or, or whatnot. But given the circumstances that have taken place, and because people have messaged me, actually, it's really weird. I have gotten messages and stuff from, from people uh, over the last, you know, couple weeks. Uh, people want to know about it. They want to know how it's doing with its new owner and whatnot. And, um... You know, so given the circumstances that have taken place with the car, I did get a get in touch with her, and she has, you know, allowed me to come out and uh, actually take a look at the Aztec with you guys included. Uh, so that's where we're going. I just now left work, and we're going to be heading over to her place, and I'm going to show you guys uh, what's going on with the Aztec as of currently. All right, everyone, so here she is. And as you can see, she is not in the best of health. <laughs> Far from it. Um, so unfortunately, this thing was the victim of a hit and run accident, uh, which was, at the time that this is being filmed, it was last week. Last week? It was last week. So, as you can see, uh, she got popped pretty good, unfortunately. The B pillar is, you can't really tell because, well, you can't even open the doors, but the B pillar is crushed in pretty good. Um, this door doesn't open. That door was opened, but now you can't open it and it doesn't close either. Um, you can kind of see <laughs> this outline here. It was a license plate where the license plate bracket should have been uh, on the vehicle that, that hit her. Um, the underside, of course, you know, the rockers were already rotting out a little bit, but you can kind of see how it got crushed in. 
a little underneath there. You can see the rust is actually, you know, the metal coming apart because of the rust. Brake line got messed up somewhere under there. Um, so it got hit pretty good. And, uh, you know, wonderfully enough, nobody was hurt in this. Um, so this is kind of where she sits at the moment. Um, probably not going to be repaired uh, just from the looks of it and the age of the car, the condition underneath and whatnot, it's not worth it. This is Jessica. She doesn't want to be on camera so I'm just going to kind of uh, have her narrate to you guys what happened and um, so you don't have to go into a lot of specifics but um, like you don't have to obviously give names and whatnot but um, so just tell us what happened. Um, I was sitting at a red light waiting to turn. A car turned from the other street and instead of turning he slammed straight into us and I pulled over to get his information and he floored it and went 100 miles an hour down the street. So we're kind of stuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you said that there was there was somebody who had actually followed them for a while. Yes, he followed him. He had called 911, told the police he was following. They did not have a license plate, so he couldn't catch that. And they were driving so fast and running red lights that um, he lost them. It's amazing he didn't cause any other accident. Yeah. If uh, that's... That yeah, was the situation. I, that's what, I was not worried about getting another car. I was worried for the fact that he could have killed my kids or someone else. Yeah. I see a cat. Yeah, absolutely. So um, you were telling me before I started rolling that the um, you you know who it is now um, yes. because somebody was actually able to uh, kind of put a puzzle together. And, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but now it's just a matter of actually getting them because apparently they haven't been back in the area since. Um, so, and um, amazingly enough, you guys were all okay. Mm -hmm. And... The other vehicle was a Jeep Liberty. Yeah, it was a Jeep, uh, a Jeep Liberty. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, right in the crease, um, you know, I mentioned the license plate outline, you can kind of see it there, but his half of his bumper was left in the door of the Aztec. So when he took off, half of the bumper was still attached in that wedge. <laughs> um, you know, in in the Aztec, it's amazing. But um, yeah, so I mean, you know, you guys have seen the progress of this car over the years and uh, all the work that, you know that was put into it. And I was really you know, looking forward to this car being usable for somebody else who, you know, who needed the car. And uh, this is what happens when you have people who are just, you know, I can't use explicitives on my vlog channel, but you guys get the idea. <laughs> um, and it, it, it upsets me greatly, and, and Jess is obviously upset too, because not even two months. She hasn't had this car from me for a whole two months yet, and this is the outcome of, of the car um, and it sucks because now this car is no good it's not worth fixing and she's probably going to be scrapped now but uh, yeah so this is this is pretty much it guys this is where the end of the road for the Aztec is and I know like I mentioned on the way here I know you guys have been wanting an update um, you know to be quite honest I wasn't going to do an update on the car I didn't want to bother you for an update in <laughs> but um you know but given the circumstances you know uh, and all the followers who have supported this car over the last few years um, you know I feel like you know I owed it to you guys to get an update for you and just to let you guys know what what's going on with it um, so I think this is pretty much it um, I want to thank you Jess on behalf of my followers also for allowing me to come and 
document this and again I'm glad you guys are okay and I guess that's it alright guys so that's pretty much it there's really nothing else to say about it um, she's gonna be going to the yard um, yeah she was actually gonna try to drive it for a little while uh, but you know the brakes are, are messed up now and the car is obviously not handling perfectly straight you know in a straight line now because it's uh, buckled so yeah she's done for and uh, you know it breaks my heart she was upset about it she uh, said that she liked driving the car she thought it was ugly but she, <laughs> she liked driving it um, and that's okay you know she was I just wanted her to get use out of it and you know now she's back to square one unfortunately and you know it breaks my heart in a couple of different ways but that's it um, so yeah uh, that's the update guys and I know it's the update that nobody wants to hear or see uh, I know I didn't but it is what it is and there's nothing that we can do to change that alright guys so we're gonna wrap up this vlog I'm gonna head home now and call it a night um, yeah, so I want to say thumbs up this video, but I don't know what we're thumbing up in this video. <laughs> I don't want you guys to dislike it either. Uh, but, you know, the usual, guys. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Uh, also, check out teespring.com slash doors slash Mike's Vehicles Spotlight uh, for all your MVS and vlog merchandise. And that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you for joining, and uh, I hope that you guys, I want to say enjoyed the update. That wasn't the update that I wanted to present, but it is what it is. But you guys wanted to know, and there it is. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining. Take care.